Hello folks, welcome to Dig Drive DIY. My name is Neil and this is part two of this driveway makeover project. Be sure to check out the part one video where we take extra care in cutting out new edges as we widen and expand some parking area of this driveway. We then have some base rock hauled in for our newly cut out portions. The base rock is then all placed, graded out, and packed in. So now we're ready for a final top coat. waiting on the truck so I'm just picking up some big rocks that are going to float to the top. It's uh, actually been a couple weeks since we were last here and uh, got this cut out, put a bunch of base rock in. I've got some stone ordered for today, probably three or four loads to top dress this. We're gonna to top dress it with some number nines. That's a wash stone, meaning that it doesn't have the little fine powder in it. Um, it's good and bad. It doesn't pack together real tight, but it also doesn't, it doesn't make a lot of fine powder mess that gets on your tires and then you track it into your building. So I like to use that clean wash stone on top as long as it isn't too thick. If you get that stuff stacked up too thick, then it's real marbly and washy. Once we get that stone in here, we'll come back with the little garden tractors and the little grader boxes and get it all dressed up and, and graded out. Hopefully they'll send somebody that's a good tailgater. So he does this slow and steady, not a lot of speed. I'm not even telling him where to go. He gets When the only finish work you gotta do is let it burn. Yeah. Golly. Look at that. That's awesome. God, this guy knows what he's doing. And I can't tell you how much easier the job can be when you get a guy that really knows what he's doing. And Chris from Bailey did a fantastic job of spreading the stone in here. I'm, I'm actually waiting for him to come back with a second load. I don't know that we're going to have to grade anything really. A few touch-ups around the edges, but he knows his stuff when it comes to spreading. As a matter of fact, I was recording when I was talking to him earlier, so I want to let you eavesdrop on a few words of wisdom from a, a seasoned dump truck driver that knows his way around a tailgate. That's what I do. I've been doing it for, uh, I'm the oldest driver at Bailey's. You are? Yeah. How long have you been there then? February would be 29 years. You're kidding. No. 
I hired in a 92. Of course, my dad bought his first dump truck when I was three. Helped my grandpa farm and rode with my dad all summer in dump truck. So I've been doing it since 1963, hanging around. and It's all truck. about how much you load in the gate. Yeah. It's all when you set it down, you can shut it off all the time. You gotta know, just get used to not overloading the gate. Yeah, because you, you uh, go a lot slower than most in guys here, are going. I got them set a little tight for nines because I like to trick home in. It gives me plenty of time to horse around, settle in, and I can watch my edges. The faster you go, everybody thinks speed's it. They're all wrong. They open them up and they think as long as it looked flat when it's done, it looks good. When you open those chains up further and run harder, when it hits the ground, it throws them out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's, that's very why true. I go slow around their edges because I keep them in your driveway. <laughs> <laughs> Is this truck an automatic? Yeah. You can't beat an automatic. I always thought when we first got those, it's like, ah, I don't want an automatic. It's like, no, I wouldn't go back. And soft ground, sand, whatever. You know, if you got a clutch trying to take off in sand, you know what it's like. Yeah. You cannot, it wants a hop, not these. Automatic walks right out of anything. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you like the Kenworth versus like the Sterling? Or what did you, you probably had about no all of them. No comparison. Yeah, I've had them all because actually the OL 9000 was my favorite old truck, but those are rough riders. You can't beat that truck. And my yeah. dad, we had an auto car and a pay, in the old Paystars. No, you can't beat an old Paystar. They were tough. Really? Yeah. It's the toughest old truck in the world. But nowadays. Well, what year is this truck? It looks fairly new. It's, uh, I think I've had this one three years. I've had about 15 new trucks here. Wow. And 9 11, we had a low there. We didn't get any trucks for six years. I mean, I'm always fascinated with Bailey's trucks, but I mean, they went from the L9000s to like the Sterlings, and then it seems like there was a transition there where you had some, there was Freightliners, and there Volvo, was Volvos, freight and, shake, all that. and like, then you finally got into these, the T Kenworth. I got the first one. You did? I always wanted the Kenworth 800, and he goes, you know what, he liked that T880, and that was the first one in Fort Wayne, I was the first one that had it. Uh, I really like this style of truck, but nice I heard that. inside, they, it's quiet, rides good, drives nice, steers nice, turns nice. I have no desire to get a different one. And I like my Volt tires. It's like, don't, don't laugh. I was like, man, they put you a set of tires on, couldn't I? I, I thought of it. I beg them. It's like, hey, don't put any tires on that right now because it's wet season's coming. When I do everybody's driveways and they're a little muddy on the edges, them lugs pick that pick mud, mud up, up and I drag it on their driveways. I said, keep them nice so I can run their edges and I don't pick any mud up and drag it through the driveway. All I thought out. Tires with no tread on them. Man. I got a reason for everything. You're speaking my language. <laughs> You gotta care about it. Yeah, you do. I care about it. Well, it matters. I call it artwork. It's artwork. Well, I'm glad we got you for this. <laughs> yeah, so I like doing it. Now you know who to ask for. Yeah, except I didn't get his name. Chris. Well, I'd say that guy knows what he's doing. <laughs> he really cares sure. about spreading yeah. stone. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll get some to eat and we'll watch him spread it out. This is going to be hopefully our last day working on this job for Dan. We got a, I got a load of river rock on the uh, dump truck. They wanted to do some landscaping in front of the house. So I got Nick with me here today. He's going to help out and we're going to try to get the landscaping done. They did an awesome job spreading the stone. We just have to barely touch that up, but I want to roll it. So I grabbed another tractor out of the barn and the old roller. We're going to go see if we can wrap it up. That looks great. A little landscaping project, huh? I'm ready for it to be over. <laughs> so we got to try to, we'll back the dump truck in here, get it dumped, use a tractor to push it in and see where we wind up.
They look a little different all wet, don't they? Yeah, I washed it down. They look nice, don't they? Looks really good. Yep, thank you so much. Let's see if Dean's got a bucket. And if there are any of the if any of the big stones are floating around on top, you can just put, pick them up, put them in a bucket. Okay, I'm going to try to grade this real lightly with the grader box. I don't want to. Chris did a really good job of topping it, and so I don't want to get into those base rocks underneath. There's a few places I just want to barely knock down. I got a little pile of stone over there that he left me, and I'm going to go through and fill in some of these areas that are low. A little strip right here you can see that's discolored. I'm going to put a little stone there. And then there's a couple places along the driveway that need filled in. So, so we're going to fill in the holes get it smoothed up just a little bit, roll it in, and call it good. So I'll see if I can do that without screwing it all up. I think it turned out pretty good. Don't you yeah, think? Definitely. Well, thanks for your help, Nick. No problem. All right. Hopefully, the wedding goes off really nicely next weekend and they're happy with it. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. See ya.